Okay, today I'm going to show you a winch hook that I modeled. I pulled right off of my winch that I bought and I, uh, I removed the brand the brand logo which goes right here um, just because I don't want to get in trouble for copyright issues or anything like that. <coughs> but I did some hand measurements and I'll walk you through it. I would have walked you through modeling it but this would have been like a two hour video and don't want to be sitting here watching me fumble through everything. So what I started with was a basic outline sketch. And I went through and I measured everything. I estimated some of these radiuses that you see here. But uh, all these measurements I took just straight using just regular slide calipers and kind of a little estimation. But uh, for the most part, so you start with this basic outline here as you can see and all these are construction lines because you'll see in a little bit how I use those so let's go through this I'll run the uh, bar up so I run it up to the first loft here and make sure in yeah, my view and everything's open okay so you see my basic sketch is what I started with so first thing I did was a loft So how I did that was, let's go into the loft, and you'll see exactly how I did that. So I started right here. This is my first sketch here. So it's, it ovals there, and hit this sketch here. So we can go into each one of those sketches if you'd like. So let's go into those sketches real fast. So let's go into this sketch first, and I'll show you how I did that. So as you can see, I built this outline box here. Then I made a circle, line, line, made them all tangent. Everything's tangent. That should be tangent. Everything's tangent to each other. So and then you get this black, fully defined line. That's what you're looking for. And these are estimated dimensions, just based on just based on uh, my hand measurements here. So the loft, how the loft works, if you've never used the loft, is what you do is you, you grab all these. These are your profiles that you made, your sketches, and then you have constraints. So the constraints are like this. So I constrained it to my drawing, so it's going to follow that path. So that was my first loft. And as you can see, it makes the thickness based on your profiles. So I added some planes here in order to make this. So what I did here was I made a plane, as you can see. That's this one right here for this ear. This is ear for the Clevlock hook. So plane, and then you just make a sketch. Sketch is right there. We can go into the sketch. And you probably should have said dimension for that. You don't want to have anything undefined. So I just made one sketch and then as you can see here I added draft. You add draft by going into your going into the base extrude the boss extrude and you click on this button. This is your draft on and off. And this is a forged item. I knew that going into it. So it's got a seven degree draft, which is generally the industry standard for draft for uh, closed die forging. So that's just something I know because of the nature of my, my career. Then we're going to do the same thing over here. So now you can get the overall idea of where we're going with this. So you have two circular ears, and you have the body of the hook. Now I'm going to add a fillet. So I added a fillet right here for the ears. So it's like a smooth transition. And we cut the remainder out. So see how it's still full. We cut that out. We go into our sketch here and you can see why. So I, I cut the ends of the ears off. I cut the remainder of this, this gap. And I revolved. To get the tip, it's just a sphere, 
as you can see there. So you can go into this sketch here. So how I did this was I drew half a circle, half a circle, and then I revolved it around the center of the circle. And then I cut it off so it's flat from that point to over. That is going to give me a surface to loft to, as you'll see. And that is my other loft. So all I did was, we'll go into this one. So you can see, I, this is our number one sketch that when we lofted this way up the body of the hook. So now we grab this one and then the edge of this flat, and we lofted it. And we use these constraints. You can see where my constraints are. See, that's one constraint all the way around. The other constraint. And then lofted it straight into the tip. So that's your curve of the hook. So you can pretty much see exactly how the hook's looking now. So I added the plane and then I did a cut. Let's see where I did my cut right here. So I measured this dimension. That's the inside of your clevis. Where, the, where your clevis pin goes into. And another cut right here. So there's a latch pad, so where a latch will live. You can see my sketch here. So I just kind of mimicked it. So as you can see, I just kind of guessed it. Made it look as, as close as I can to what the physical product looked like. And see I changed it a little bit from my original sketch and that's okay and then I just did a cut extrude so what I did was I built a you can see where my plane is it's here. It's this plane here. you can see how I built the plane and I did my sketch and I extruded it out I'll show you right here so let's go to the side here I added draft to this. You can see seven degrees worth of draft. And I just drafted it straight out. Okay, and then what did I do here? Did the same thing on the other side. So the same exact theory. Then I put a bunch of fillets in. See, I did a little fillet around this edge. You want a you want a smooth corner. You can't have any sharp corners. What do we do here? Ah, okay. Okay, so I did a couple kidneys here. You can see here, right here. I did a kidney here, and then the one way around. This is where all your text is going to be. So then I added a plane, and let's see where that plane is. So I can click it. You can see I'm offset 270 or 0.270, and I did another. You can see I did the kidneys on this side, so both sides have matching kidneys. I could have mirrored it. This is the way I did it. And then you add your fillets all the way around because you can't have any sharp edges. And I'm guessing we added some text. Yep, forged in USA. That's what my hook says. That's what your hook should say too. Okay. And then what did I add here? It was suppressed. Let's see what else I added here. There's something over here. Hope the size. So I have a 5 16 inch hook on my uh, my winch. Yours may be different. Obviously, all the dimensions will change if you have something different. And we added one more cut. It's right here. It's for the latch. So the latch will go in that hole. And that is it. We have made, I walked you through the process I did for modeling my clevis hook that is on my winch. So this is what you'd see in your off-road hooks, or off-road winches, um, probably a cable, I, I know everybody's going to synthetics now, but uh, I'm going to have a cable or synthetic rope. Uh, so that is my hook. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.